It's uh, Big Bird 130 here, or Steve as people like to call me. Um, I'm filming this on my phone because uh, my, all my other video cameras have got flat batteries. <laughs> so um, I've got them on charge now, but uh, I wanted to make this short video. Uh, this is going on with the saga with the SX92 Boomerang. Um, people have seen it running and cutting wattle, but sounded like it was wearing the clutch out because it was too tight and uh, I sort of realized that probably the chain was not the right size and the original chain is over here that they shipped with it which is an Oregon chain um, and uh, it's if, I, if it's correct from what I've seen on YouTube, they probably sent me the wrong chain. And uh, so what I did was I thought, oh, well, I'll go back to Edison's and I'll um, I'll order a, a chain from them. Edison's being the people who supply the supply the, uh, the saw. <clears throat> and so I ordered what was supposed to fit the SX92. That's all they had, the information that they had about the saw. So... That was these, this box of two chains that came. They had a special on. You got two chains for the, the uh, a good price. Anyway, I fitted that. You can see here, I'll take the bar cover off. You can see here that, that it's impossible to move with the nut, bar nuts done up. I mean, I should be able to move that. Uh, it's just, and it's not tight. It's loose as, see? But it just won't move. So, I, today I found out on YouTube, this probably needs, and I had a bit of a look at the bar as well, this probably needs a, um, a, a chain for a 24 inch bar of course, but it needs to be a 3 8 chain, which that is there, um, a 3 8 chain with a 0 0.058 uh, inch gauge and a... Uh, 84 drive links So that's what I've bought today. I went down to my local Husqvarna dealer and uh, picked up this chain here More expensive than all the others of course, but uh, I'm hoping that this chain is the right chain and we'll fit it up and see So if you give me a moment, I'll fit it up and and we'll have a look and see if that's the right chain Well, I'm gonna say it's amazing what the difference a proper chain makes a uh, proper size chain uh, if you have a look now No problem moving it. Um, I did have, uh, I originally, you know, I just put this chain on. I did have it a little bit too tight and it was very difficult to turn. But now I've got just the right, uh, the right uh, tension. So it should be good. So what we'll probably do is go out and cut some wood. I don't have anything really big to cut at the moment. So um, I'll probably just cut some small stuff. I don't know whether I'll video it or just pop this up and... So people know, uh, this is the Bulma Ag SX92 24 inch bar and it's been sent with the wrong chain. And if you buy, if you order chains on the Edison's, don't um, fall into the trap that I fell into and got uh, two chains that were said to be for this saw and they weren't, obviously. Um, I think if you went to Jono and Jono, which is another supplier, and you asked for the right right chain and the right chain being being a 3.8 pitch a 0 0.58 gauge and 84 drive links um you'll get the correct one from Jono and Jono and I think I looked it up the other day and it's um it's a Husqvarna um chain it's not a Husqvarna chain but it's, they say it fits a Husqvarna saw and these are effectively a Husqvarna clone anyway so after all that, I've got a saw that's possibly working. Um, I've only cut really twice with this, and it was, and, and you've seen on the previous videos, it was, uh, uh, it wasn't running right. I haven't tuned it yet, so I might do that today. Um, uh, it needs some some tuning at the high end, uh, and um, the other thing I don't like about it is it leaks oil. Uh, and this has been commented also by other YouTubers. Um, it, it, uh, it leaks profusely. 
Um, so I said to Edison's when um, when I got it, I said the other problem I have with it is it leaks oil badly. And they said, well, that's because it's a gravity feed pump and, and um, you know, we can't stop that. And the way to store the saw is to store it with the bar up, standing up high so that the, the, the oil doesn't drain out of it. Um, so uh, I suppose I'm stuck with it. And I'm over, over a year now, so I can't, I'm out of warranty. So um, I'll just put up the leaking oil try and work out a way to store it in here without um, without it leaking oil everywhere. Well, I've had it out today and I've run it through some small logs today just to cut up and uh, move around for firewood. Um, it's pretty good. Um, it seems to cut great with the new Husqvarna chain, saw, Husqvarna chain, I should say. Runs beautifully. Well, runs beautifully. It still needs a tune, but it runs pretty good. I'm letting it run rich for a while till it really beds in. Um, and uh, had no problems with it. You know, it's a heavy saw, heavy when it's full of oil and and uh, fuel, uh, but uh, still not unwieldy. It's uh, it's good. Seems to have plenty of power. Uh, it would be nice to have some bigger stuff to cut with it. Uh, I will put a video together showing it's actually in use. I didn't have it today because there was nowhere to put the camera. And it literally took me 10 minutes to cut up a piece of wood that I was, that I was cutting up. So no real point. But there you have it. I'm, I'm happy now. I've got the right chain for this. Uh, it all works properly. The reason it's lying on the floor like that is because, as other people have also mentioned in their YouTube videos, it leaks oil profusely. Edison, when I mentioned it to them, said that the only way to store them is to store them like that with the bar facing up. Um, so that the oil doesn't run out of the of the chamber. Um, it's not really a satisfactory solution, but uh, you know they wouldn't put it back under warranty, and I believe it happens to all of them anyway. So uh, there it will stay for the time being until I find a permanent home for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. Um, that'd be great. Speak to you soon. Bye.